I don't think I'll be shocking anyone to say that the future, maybe even the present, of entertainment lighting is LEDs. Over the last decade, our industry has shifted heavily to solid state lighting. At first for the energy savings, but more and more recently for the other advantages such as additive color mixing and intelligent features. Transitioning to LED fixtures may be an easy decision to make, but determining where to begin can be much more complicated. Most venues will not have the ability due to schedule or budgets to update the entire system at one time. So where do you start? How do you get the biggest bang for your buck? I wanna start by breaking down the average performance space into four zones. The backdrop or cyclorama, the overstage and side stage wash, the front light or balcony rail system, and the long throw or back of house rail. The first zone, your backdrop or cyclorama, is likely to make the biggest impact and therefore will make the best starting point for many spaces. Traditional psych lights are power hungry fixtures that can burn thousands of watts. This inefficiency is compounded by the fact that they utilize subtractive color mixing, which suffers from significant energy loss, especially in saturated colors, due to the gels and filters used to remove parts of the spectrum from the initial source. Interestingly, they actually use subtractive color mixing to create a set of colors that you then use in an additive manner by mixing them together to achieve the desired color point. These systems do have simple controls, one channel per color, usually RGB or RGBW, but the independent color sources can also lead to a psych that is not fully homogenized. Converting this zone to an LED system can significantly reduce your theater's power consumption by reducing the fixture's wattage. We're talking hundreds versus thousands, maybe tens of thousands of watts. The color source psych fixture, for example, will allow you to put up to 10 fixtures on a 20 amp circuit. Depending on the size of your drop, that may be more fixtures than you need. Imagine having your entire psych lit from a single circuit. If you haven't seen it already, you should check out the ETC photometry app that will allow you to set the size of your psych and the setback that you are working with. It will then calculate how many fixtures you need and how far apart they should be spaced for optimal coverage. And don't forget that LED fixtures will lower the BTUs emitted from this system. Those old fixtures can run pretty hot. You also gain the benefit of better homogenization as well as a virtually unlimited color gamut. And because these fixtures utilize additive color mixing, they actually have better efficiency the more saturated the color. The stage wash, or zone two, can also be a great starting point for your conversion to LED. Traditional incandescent stage washes can be difficult to maintain as the fixtures can be tough to get to for replacing lamps or gel changes, which limits your color palette choices. Scrollers are often used to give some color options, but they can be noisy and often need maintenance themselves, as well as suffering from color fades that are less than elegant. You know, I can, I can say I, I was working on a Broadway show that had a scroller break during a performance and it was spinning endlessly over the stage, which was very loud. The show had to be halted and somebody had to walk out on the electric to unplug it in order to continue. An LED stage wash can be an efficient and time-saving upgrade. Because LED fixtures are virtually maintenance-free, you will only really need to put your hands on them when you need to change focus. And just like we mentioned with the psych system, they give you a virtually endless color gamut, so you'll be able to wash your stage in any color you can think of effortlessly. Also, many of these fixtures allow for more advanced mixing modes, so once you get comfortable with RGB mixing, you can expand your programming methods to access even more parts of the color gamut. And unlike with scrollers, you can fade from color to color seamlessly. Another big advantage of LEDs in this type of system is their relatively cool exterior temperatures because they do not get anywhere near as hot as incandescent, which can reach temperatures of over 420 degrees Fahrenheit. You don't have to be as concerned about the fixture coming into contact with soft goods or soft talent. For those of you dealing with a tight budget, both the psych and stage wash systems are a good place to value engineer, as the quality of light will be less of a concern because you are not going to be relying on these fixtures for skin tone rendering as much as you would with a front light system. Color source products are perfect for these locations. Source forward color can also be used when budgets are difficult. Zone three or your front light system is up next. 
Once we leave the stage and head out into the house systems, the priorities about features, brightness, and quality begin to change. Incandescent fixtures are natively bright, cheap, and have good quality of light. While color changing still suffers, like we pointed out before, the need for a large gamut is usually not as high, especially for saturated colors. Interestingly, I've heard designers say that some actors have commented that it is more difficult for them to find their light with LED fixtures because they no longer have the familiar warmth in the beam that they have grown accustomed to with tungsten. This does not mean that there's no benefits to upgrading to LED. While there are fewer options available that can give you the brightness and high quality light output that is recommended for a front light system, they do exist. For these locations, we would recommend a fixture with the X7 or X8 color mixing engines. They provide the punch and rendering that is needed to make your stage look beautiful and natural. And with more advanced features and control modes mentioned earlier, they will allow you to tune the light to get precisely the look you are after. Maybe I want something close to a Lee 201, but with a little bit more warmth. Or maybe I need that special that desaturates the stage for effect. The possibilities are only limited by the designer's creativity. These features and quality come at a premium, however, making this system one of the more costly to upgrade. An important thing to keep in mind is that you may not need to replace these fixtures in a one-to-one -one manner from your existing system. Many times multiple fixtures are hung in the same focus to allow for a warm or cool system. Because the LED fixture can change colors, you may be able to hang a single fixture for all of your color needs. In situations where budgets require some concessions, color source products can provide a great deal of value with these locations and will provide adequate quality at a lower cost. In very tight financial situations, products like source forward or source forward color could also be used. Zone 4, which is the back of house system, has a lot in common with Zone 3, only with some more distance. This distance exaggerates the needs we discussed with Zone 3 and puts more emphasis on the brightness requirements. Incandescent fixtures continue to be the best lumen per dollar option on the market. They are cheap and they are bright. Again, they can be difficult to reach in some places, so maintenance and color changes could be tough. Until recently, there were not good LED options for hanging positions like this, but that has changed with the current generation of spotlights, such as the Source 4 LED Series 3. With fixtures now putting out over 10,000 lumens, you can easily use them with a 10 degree or 5 degree lens tube to deliver a beautiful punchy beam of light to your stage. The image you are looking at now is taken during our video shoot for the launch of the Source 4 LED Series 3. This venue is here in Madison, Wisconsin at the Capitol Theater, which is in the Overture Center downtown. When I was a kid, it was actually called the Oscar Mayer Theater, a local company that I'm sure many of you have heard of. Although before that, it was actually called the Capitol Theater, so it has come full circle. We use this venue for a lot of our testing and photography because, as you can see, it's gorgeous. This is the first time that we had hung an LED fixture from these lighting positions, and it was the first time we had seen the Series 3 project from over 100 feet. We were nervous until we turned it on. And don't forget the bonus Zone 5, house lights. Upgrading your architectural lighting system to LED, such as Arc System, can have a dramatic effect on your energy consumption, as well as making your life easier by eliminating lamp changes. There are great features in these products like fade to warm, which will mimic tungsten output for a natural dimming curve, high quality output that is virtually indistinguishable from tungsten, and installation options that can make for a pain-free upgrade. And for some venues, we could be talking about hundreds of fixtures that are now low-powered LEDs. So to recap, as you get further away from the back wall of your stage, the need for higher quality light with brighter output becomes more important as does generally the complexity of controls. Along with that, there is usually an increase in the cost per fixture. For that reason, most users will find that the all important bang for your buck and ease of transition is likely to be the biggest starting in zone one and decreasing as you move to zone four. Remember that every theater is different and these are only generalizations. You should always discuss your specific needs with your local dealer or rep. They can help to ensure that these upgrades make the most sense for your venue. Thank you.